It's questions with Krista, and I love this part of what I do because it's real questions from real people just like you. We've got the first question from Bruce N. And hey, in the future, everyone, tell me what your real last name is. I want to be able to say it on here. It looks like things are starting to slow, slowly reopen and get back to normal. What advice do you have as far as what should I be doing now to get a leg up on the competition and get the ball rolling? That's from Bruce N. Now, the answer is this. It doesn't make a difference what profession that you're in. What you should be doing now is creating as much content. You should be committing to consistently, what I call the nine C's, committing to consistently producing content, correctly distributing it so that you make a connection with your community. And when you make a connection, you're more likely to convert more clients and customers. Okay. So be committed to the nine C's, give information, give value, serve, don't sell. The more that people see you in your community as somebody that's offering value and helping, you're giving tips and you're giving tricks, you're talking about the community, you're um, interviewing other local businesses, you're supporting local businesses, you are just being that person of positivity and hope and happiness, people are going to look to you as a leader in your industry, in your profession. Now, it doesn't matter whether you're an insurance agent, a real estate agent, a broker, um, whether you're a divorce attorney, whether you are a mediator, any a CPA, an accountant, any type of local professional should be operating their business this way. Listen, why do people want to work with people? Number one, they want to work with people that they like, right? You want to be known. What do you need in your industry? You want leads, right? You want to learn how to capture leads. You want to learn how to take those leads and turn those leads into clients and customers. And then you want to make sure they keep on coming back for more of what you have to offer and you want them to refer you. How do you do that? You do do that by staying top of mind awareness, by showing up where they're looking, where they're looking. They're looking online, right? Customers and clients are looking online. Think about you. When you are going to make a purchase, whether it's going to a local restaurant, buying a car, or maybe even getting a new pair of shoes or a golf club, what are you doing? You're going online to research. So don't you think that when people have a very important decision to make, like what insurance to use, or getting a loan, or buying a home, or purchasing a car, or thinking about going to a mediator, um, that they're going online? They are. So what's our job as marketers, as business owners, as entrepreneurs, and as professionals? Our job is to show up where they are looking when they're doing the research. How do you do that? You do that by continuing to consistently, Bruce, Bruce, produce content and giving value and serving, not selling. The more that you can serve, the less that you are are selling, you're going to start selling more inadvertently. You're going to start closing more clients and closing more customers because they see you as the authority figure in your community. It doesn't matter what your profession is. You want to be known as the go-to person, anything community related or anything insert your profession related. Why? Because people get to know you. You work with who you like. You work with who you know. If you want to be known, you need to be seen. You need to be heard. How are you seen and how are you heard? By consistently producing content, correctly distributing it so you can make a connection. When you make a connection, you're going to convert more clients and customers. That's how you are known. That's how you're seen. That's how you're heard. Okay? So right now what you can be doing, Bruce, is produce as much content, correctly distribute it, add as much value, help people, give tips and tricks and all these kinds of things. And what I should probably answer next, and I will make that be the next q and I'm just going to make up my own Q&A, and that is, how do I actually find content? Where do I go? How do I research? It's one of the biggest questions I get from people is what do I say and what do I do and what videos do I do on and what content do I produce? That's the easy part because you know about your business, you know about your community, you know about your profession. You And so that's, that's the easy part. So start Bruce developing content, nurturing and helping people and, uh, and smile, be somebody of hope and positivity. Don't be a negative Nelly. There's plenty of that out there. We need you to be a leader and to add value. So I hope this was helpful, everyone. Let me know what your comments are, what questions you have. Make sure you give me your last name because I want to start knowing what your last name is, and I'll answer the questions on the next Questions with Krista. And as always, make it a great day. Hey there, I have a brand new podcast called Fired Up with Krista Mayshore, where I bring my high energy right to your ears. This podcast is available on all your favorite podcast platforms. So do me a favor, go subscribe and leave a review. All this information is free and I cannot wait to teach you everything I know. Thanks so much for watching my video. You can learn more about how to be a successful real estate professional by watching other videos that I have. And be sure to subscribe to my channel. And as always, make it a great home selling and buying day.